Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Mind Over Magic. Thank you in the comments for pointing out that you can restrict what people eat in the consumption here. You can come down to specific people, like I could pick Kingsley and add a, add a person or, or whoever, and tell them exactly what they want to eat. So, thank you for pointing that out. If we go here, who who has a food restriction? Like Byron, for example. Are you are you even a guy we want around? Yeah, Byron's a fire wand user. Let's come to Byron. Byron, where are you? Byron, meals, you only eat gut berry, clear all. Now you're only gut berry guy. <laughs> That's all you eat for now. I gotta remember to go back and change him back. When uh when he's done with his his uh Award. I, I was also looking at our students here. Uma's got all of her medallions. Circe is a better user of the, the water wand. She can get to f level five out of, out of, uh, level five of the wa waterway. <laughs> and Uma can only go to four. So, like, I don't know. Uma's already been, like, usurped. Although Uma has a lot more HP. I don't know which way we'll go. Maybe we'll get both. And we'll see. Like, who's the better, the better mage? You go days without being hungry, That's that doesn't really apply. Any of this food related? While full, that's not really applicable. You've already, Andrew's already got all of his, his medallions? We gotta hold on to Andrew before, or uh, until we can hatch the, the bird. Hatch it! Do it now! Uh, Andrew? Byron? And then uh, begin ritual. And then we can hire Andrew and Byron. I think. And then the crone bug is nature, water, earth. So we have the nature and water. We don't have the earth yet. Which is Ephra. Close! Ephra is working on it. Hey! Was Ephra here before? I if I forgot. Because I did do some stuff off camera. I apologize. Ephra's new. She's a blue shattered. Welcome to the team. <laughs> if she was here before, also good. Let's see. What do we want to research? Because we got some of these, the, this uh, finial, which would be great to, to make our atelier. Maybe. So we have some scrolls. Maybe we get our hands on this liven up the place. Oh, you know what? We should do up in the air. Get our, our hands on this fancy bed. Just to make people's sleeping situation better. Have we have we hatched the bird yet? Okay, we're working on it. I like how Andrew is like back in the corner and then Byron is behind the pillar. <laughs> They're like, where do we stand to do this ritual? I don't know, just anywhere really. Ah, the finial has been achieved. What what does it take to make that? Stone and spore cap, which we don't have a lot of. This giant schoolroom. Oh, you know what? I did. I also did this off camera. Sorry for like ha totally spacing on what, what what was going on. I was messing around, moving my my plants over here and expanding this out to be a giant schoolroom. Basically my plan for this room, because I haven't really been using it for anything for a while, is I would like to make this the the advanced schoolroom here. So if we come down here to classrooms, uh, advanced classroom, you need skill specific teaching station, chalkboard, bookshelves. I would like to put a spe skill specific teaching station for each of the elements in here just to make it like a super learning room that you could teach any of the elements in here whatsoever. So that's the plan for this room. Sorry for like totally spacing on that. That's what happens when I mess around with stuff off camera. And then I forget to tell people that that's what I did. <laughs> Unless I did do that on camera. Maybe I'll go look look at the I should probably like review what I've done when I haven't looked at my episodes in a while either way 
We also have access to Mandrake Planter and Honey Drop Planter. We should probably plant some of those. At least the Honey Drop. Oh, the Mandrake's a big boy. All right, throw the Mandrake right there. And then uh, Spore Shroom as well. There we go. I'm liking our garden. I might want to move that out from under the, the school at some point. Because I noticed that some of these things have a... If we hover over it... Um, it's shaded. If you see where it says required light, sun, 50% shaded. So I think that slows it down. Maybe it doesn't, but I think it slows it down. Still don't have Ephra at full level yet. To get a... F well, how many finials do we need? I think we need three, right? We, ha we don't have enough spore cap. To make the atelier? Where is that? Workshop, atelier. You need three or more small roof decorations or a single large one. But the finial is a small one, so we'll need three of those at least to make to make that room work. This room I think is yeah, dimly lit for now. That'll change shortly. What was that about? <laughs> Did something cool happen? All right, so I think tonight, so Seersay, you want to beat the Burrower Larva solo, but it only gives you more air knowledge, so maybe that doesn't matter. This one does seem useful, being able to construct better, and that one is probably the most useful one, but like, How, how many days have you been around? <laughs> have you been eating enough? Maybe we don't ever send Circe on a mission. Students need a teacher? We have like a million teachers. Are there too many students in this building? Oh, this thing broke? Last damaged by Uma? How did that happen? Is it because you were... Like when they, when they cast magic at it, does that damage it over time? Maybe that always happens, and I've just never noticed. Xenia is fully, fully trained, but she doesn't have any medallions. So, like, she might not... ...be sticking around. Defeat a one skull or higher party while full? Charge a mana lantern three times? I guess we could just force her to charge the mana lantern. Land the killing blow on three enemies during two skull or higher battles. Just moves fast indoors though, so that doesn't really matter. This one would be useful. In permanent conviction is, is nice as well. Speed and power is good. But you'd have to be in a room all by yourself. And then loves quilting. Huh. I don't know if she's, she's like top priority. Seersay's so pretty good. Andrew's got all of his stuff, so he's definitely getting hired. Byron's doing well. I'm not sure about this one. That would be like it'd be nice to have. I don't I just don't know if I can like force him to avoid craving recreation ever. So, who knows? The bird! Oh, this bird is sick! Look at this cool guy! I don't know where to put you, but you're cool. <laughs> what a neat thing! Do we have the wood to make the Scrivener's desk yet? Or the ash thing? Is that under crafting? Sure is. Ash parchment. Made by this bird, I think. It sure is. It takes smoke stick to do. Okay, we need do until 15. Because that's what you need for the Scrivener's desk. Cool stuff. What else can you make? Fibrous textile and rune wood. Let's do until we have 93. Okay. Uh Well, we'll just set it at 20. I don't know what fibrous textile is for. I'm sure we'll get that eventually. Can't we still can't hatch the crone bug. Ephra, you slacker. <laughs> Very close to being able to uh to to hatch the crone bug. Very exciting there. 
I saw in the patch notes they re released recently that there's something called a conservatory. I have no idea, which sounds like a plant room, right? I, I was talking about that last episode. I have no idea where that is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's a, re a, re a recreation thing. A conservatory. Enchantophone skewed private. All right, never mind. I thought a conservatory was for plants. The Arboretum also sounds like it'd be good for plants, but it's only for nature learning. You, you think you should, like, stack, like, plant growing in the Arboretum as well? Like, you know how the Hydro Laboratory has best, better rates to alchemy and whatnot? Oh well. Is there enough light in here now? There sure is. Good news. Alright, people are asleep. Let's remember to go into... The underschool tomorrow. Byron, how's your medallions coming? You didn't eat any gut berry. Why not? Do you only eat once a day? No, you definitely can eat like three times a day if you so choose. Look at that bird go to town. I don't even know what he's doing. He's making a hell of a mess though. Where's my little like quilted, quilted mop guy? Is he not around anymore? We don't have any quilted sweep. What happened? You need viscera and somebody to do it. I guess we just don't didn't have anybody doing their job. <laughs> is that something we uh, we have prioritized? Is quilting its own thing? There are so many tasks in this game. It's kind of wild. I think quilting is primarily dark skill, and we yeah. We, I was gonna say we definitely don't have a dark magic wand user. Like, Zinnia is our dark user, but I'm, like, really hesitant to hire her because she doesn't have any wand, or not wands, uh, she doesn't have any, any medallions. I'm kind of thinking I graduate Xenia and Devin. And, I mean, honestly, I might do Uma as well, but, she, like, her HP is so high. Like, the fact that she got five, five medallions... And the, like, Circe has the opportunity to go for level 5 water, but is that that big of a difference? I don't think it is. The other thing that people pointed out in the comments, and thank you for even reminding me, I have this stupid stone down here, the Oraculum of Power, which I forgot I even had. <laughs> it takes Phoenix Flower and Ice Petal to use. You know what? I'm gonna make a, a... This might be the wrong decision. We're gonna throw Uma down here tomorrow morning when she wakes up. I also need like a warder to like constant- Although like, do I even really need to get back here anymore? I don't really think there's a reason to go back there. So maybe we just leave that alone. Candelabra broken. Who's breaking my stuff? Horror culture. Crop plants have a chance to drop some form of offal rather than their normal crop. Dark specialized mages start battle with dark waxes. Air starts with air wanes. So don't send air people on missions. All right, everybody just woke up. Let's go down to the dungeon. We've got no air. Do not bring Andrew. It's not his time. We will send these two. We'll send Byron. Just because he gets to try try out... Well, actually, By wasn't Byron? No, no, no. Uma was the person I was going to do the ritual with. And then... Uh, we'll send Xenia, because she's a dark user, and dark is waxing, apparently. Revival. Rejuvenation. Dragonfire. We don't have any recharging? No, oh, maybe we pitched all of those into wands. Alright, those people go. Uma, c come down here and do your ritual. Do all of this before class starts. Meanwhile, the bird is is doing good work. That bird is tall. <laughs> There's an ooze in the school. Get it. Dwellix, somebody get this damn thing. He's attacking my candelabras. Kill it. Can you not? All right, you can't. Violet, kill this thing. Hunt. Oh, cool. She summons like a, a fire bow and arrow. And uh, now she ran out of mana. It doesn't even have any damage going on. Somebody kill this ooze. 
Also, somebody make me a, a, a quilted sweep so I can... <laughs> so I can stop having oozes run around my, my school. Alright, we start with... Attacks all enemies. Ooh, that's kind of cool. There's only two of them, so I don't know if that's super worthwhile. Although if you... Let, let's... Like, this could be 70-ish damage. This could be 50 damage. I think it's still better to do Tentacle Lash. Especially if you do... If, especially if you do the Shadow Cloak first. So let's lead with Shadow Cloak. Especially because she gets two moves per... Blinded. Go ahead and use Earth Armor. Good job. And now use the Tentacle Lash to just absolutely melt this person. And then we'll go for... Whoa! 115 damage? Oh, cool! It does more damage the more mana you have. Like, I don't know if there's a way to boost Byron's mana usage, but that is kind of a sick ability. Torch snuffers have been loosened. What does that mean? Needs medical rest, sure. But what the hell is a torch snuffer? <laughs> oh, we've we've finally reached the the two skull in the underschool. Very exciting. Torch snuffers have been loosened. Students need a teacher. Well, what the heck are the teachers doing? It's like wandering around the school. Do we not have people teaching anymore? Did I mess up the priorities? Sure did. It should be high for like everybody. So somebody's doing teaching at the very least. Possible break risk? Oh yeah, we need to hire Uma. Uma needs to be hired like now. Um, Kira is starving. Uma is also starving. Kira, you're you you can heal heal up in the meantime. You should definitely come here and eat some stew. And then Uma, why are you upset? What are you doing? Oh, she's doing her her uh, power up mission. Well, she'll she'll finish that and then probably break afterwards. Xenia, I'm I'm just not like I really like her ability. Um, but she's just not I don't think she's gonna be able to do any of those those upgrades. So I think we'll we'll uh graduate Xenia, Circe, and we'll see about Ephra. Well, she doesn't make sense as an Earth One user because she's a shattered. Like you should have a uh Where's the torch snuffer? There he is. Um, she should she should um, be a tougher creature, like a really a revivified or a vivified is like your your primary Earth Wand user because they have so much health and they're like more about tanking than anything. But honestly, like the shatter just doesn't make sense. So we'll we'll graduate Xenia, Circe, and Ephra when they're fully trained. Devin, the jury's still out. Be fully, full rested and tranquil at the same time. Destroy 15 objects, destroy 3 objects. Lightning skill. Mana power. Okay, so those are doable. I could just have him wander around blasting stuff. We should definitely limit him to the, the gut berry as well. Where is Devin here? There he goes. Clear all. Clear all? There we go. And then Gutberry. So you and you and uh, Byron are on Gutberry duty alone. Uma is being upgraded. There's an uh, another ooze in the school. Can somebody kill this thing? Also, like quilting should be somebody's like number one job. Because like nobody else is cleaning the school. That would really be our, our Dark Wand user, but we don't have a Dark Wand user, really. 
So I guess it could be Kira's job because she's like... She's like wand harvesting and tending, but like harvesting and tending doesn't happen all that often. Yeah, and she's already on it, so I think that's fine for now. I would love- Dude, there's- there's oozes all over this- this school. Somebody's job needs to be hunting as well. Hunt? That's Dwellix's job, and he is not doing it. Although he is cooking. That is literally only Dwellix's job. So maybe we lower cooking? These should all be low. And then warding and painting should be relatively low as well. There. Destroying and hunting, primary jobs. And then he will cook when there is nothing to hunt. Alright, I think this, the slimes died. Kira's doing good. We still need to kill the torch snuffer. <laughs> <laughs> forgot about him. Okay, let's get rid of him. Uh, not Uma. Is Uma done? I think she's still... Oh, she is. Good. Great. So when she once she's done eating, then we'll, we'll hire her. Xenia, Andrew... Andrew's gonna get hired. Byron's gonna get hired. So these three could be graduated once Circe is done training. Which should be today. And we're in the middle of classes right now. Can somebody get this fool. He's he's putting my torches out. I dislike it. Why don't we just send like all the teachers after him? What who's teaching right now? Dwellix? Yeah. So Kira, you're you're doing something very useful right now. So Violet. Uh not air. Theo. Yale. And uh I guess we'll we'll interrupt uh, we'll interrupt Byron's lessons since he's already been fully trained. You stop that, you jerk! I don't think we really need potions to go after that guy. There we go. He's got a lot of health. What do you do? Douse attacks and drains twenty-five mana. Uh, surging strength, the back row. And then Theo, go ahead and earth armor yourself. And then go for slowing strength. Push you at, to the back of the initiative here. And then get lucky with a fireball. I would totally go for the flame lash if that would kill her. Oh, the crit! <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Finish it off. <laughs> Kaboom! Good job, team. Alright. Now, Byron... Still need to eat gut berry. Two days without craving recreation. I think we send Byron down here. Just to get him, hit him powered up as well. Uma, join the... The squad? I don't think I have a, a water user, right? This is gonna take some savant scrolls. But that's fine, that's what we got him for anyway. I think Kira, you don't really need to, well, you're you're always low because you're a raven, a raven cult person. I feel like the raven cult people should always like join in. Dwellix I don't really care about. And then why don't we throw Yale out there as well? Uma? Welcome to the team. We're gonna hire Andrew as well. I wonder if we should throw Andrew in the... in the power-up ritual as, as well. I think we have enough Phoenix Flower um, to do so. New kitchen! Is it because it's no longer dirty? Because <laughs> this thing's actually doing its job? That's great news. Willow's got to go around and put all of the torches back on. Byron, where are you? There you are. Okay. He's he's going. It's just going to take him a bit. 
We've unlocked the unlocked the air teaching mechanism. It takes brains to make a chalkboard. Did you know that? In real life? We should definitely hatch the crone bug. I forgot about this. So we should do that before we graduate anybody. Begin. <clears throat> Got a tickle in my throat. Let's go ahead and hack down these trees. They look nice, but they're kind of in my way. We're hatching the crone bug. Very exciting to have our... Our refinement beasts all hatched and, and working. Oh, he's huge! Oh, look at him! Oh, look at his teeth! He's got like a little grinder mouth. What do you do? You make frost glass, that's right. And sculpt stone out of honey drop, which we don't have. So let's do... Let's do until you have 10. Takes 10 ice petal to do that, so... Um, it's gonna take a while to get the 10 necessary. Because we don't even have enough ice petal. Uma has been hired. Great news. Everybody's having a party upstairs. So Uma's water, Yale is nature, Violet is lightning, Theo is earth. So then Kingsley is going to be replaced by Andrew. Dwellix is going to be replaced by Byron. Kira is just kind of like a holding pattern until we get like a good dark wand user, I guess. But like Devin's not really necessary either since that's what Yale does. So we'll probably gradu graduate Circe, Devin, Ephra, and Xenia all together. And then bring in the next batch of students. That seems like a good plan to me. I like how we, we unlocked, like, a hallway down here. <laughs> Alright, all done, Byron? Feeling powerful? Good. So then Andrew's the last one, but we don't have enough Phoenix Flower to do so. And we will run out of Ice Petal... ...soonish. He's- his conviction's still doing okay for now, but it'll definitely drop. Um... It'll definitely drop soonish. I would love for Byron to... Honestly, I should have had Andrew go get powered up first, because Byron's not quite ready to be hired. I would love for him to eat the gut berry, but it seems like he only does that once a day. So we probably need two more days to get Byron on the squad. He'll he'll definitely be replacing Dwellix, because Dwellix is just a bad fire wand user, honestly. As bad as it is to say. He's already outclassed by his own student, which is wild. The one thing I could do with Devin, just to like make him a better... A uh, graduate candidate is just to have him run around blasting things with the pyromania skill. And I guess he could probably replace Yale, because Yale only has the two the two medallions. So maybe that that would be a he'd be a worthwhile one to hold hold on to and then replace Yale. Hmm. Things to think about. Look at him go! Oh he's got like gold in his back. Or gems or something. Sucking up all the all the rocks. I love the creatures. The creatures are so cool. Poor Tusk, do you uh You got you got your refining orders in order. That's good. What's your name? Crag Breaker? <laughs> I love that they have names, or maybe that's just what they're called. Airheart? Is that like the type of bird? I'm hoping that's just- I'm hoping that's their actual names. Like, if I were to grow another crone bug, it would have a different name than Cragbreaker. I like that idea. It's very fun. Let's see, are there more... There's not more Phoenix Flower, but there are some out here. I should honestly get out here to harvest all of these. And then if we- we can get Andrew... In the rotation. The fog is almost hitting our ward, which I'm very interested to see how that actually works. So I kind of want to let it happen. And then we can push you back. Looks like we need Phoenix Flower and Ice Petal to, to push it back anyway. I know if you get it, like, really close, I think it's like wood and gut berry. Or maybe weed? The worm weed? I'm not sure. But I would love to have people come out here, harvest all that, 
That phoenix flower. We're close to having the, the right amount of phoenix flower. Hey, Uma, can I force you to harvest this phoenix flower? Or is Yale doing it? They are. Okay, good. Okay. Do we have enough? Not quite. We do now. Okay, Andrew, quick. Get down there before we run out of flowers. And then we can hire Andrew. Byron Byron is definitely on on tr trial on task to get to, uh hired as well. But I definitely want them to finish this gut berry. I guess it doesn't really matter. Cause we're not gonna have them sleeping in an Auster bedroom. Although we could like set up just an Auster bedroom in here just for him. Like just a plain bed right there in the corner and that's where Andrew lives. Maybe we set that up for him, just for him. The other thing that medallions get you, which is good to do even if they're not super helpful, is they give you more death saves. So even if you're like, well, that doesn't really matter. If you can get a medallion relatively easily, I think it's worth doing. This one I'm still not sure about because uh, I don't know. I don't know if I really have control over over making sure they get the recreation necessary. Since we do have like they do have time to recreate, and he's definitely been here for more than two days, so I don't know. <laughs> Although I did force him to go downstairs and get get powered up for three hours yesterday, so who knows. We've got a finial. The thing that that is interesting about the the finial is we just started researching a large a large rooftop decoration. We might want to take that finial down. I think I will actually, and then just let the large decoration get researched, and then go ahead and and do that instead. We did unlock fancy bed. Oh, that's where fibrous textile goes. Okay. It takes five. So maybe we have that in there as well. Is like, do until five. And that'll be like your second highest priority since we have a ton of runewood anyway. All right, austere. And that's gonna be for Byron. As soon as he's eaten all the gut berry. Which honestly we probably won't do until we've hired the guy. Andrew's still working on his ritual. Seriously, is still being trained. Yeah, we're definitely gonna graduate Xenia, Circe, and Ephra for sure. So, do we have wands necessary for new students? We have an air wand, an earth wand, lightning, and dark. Dark is important. We have air, earth, lightning. Fire, water, nature. I think we have everybody. So I think it's honestly just dark that we're like looking to hire somebody. Everybody else is just kind of like an accessory. Like we can hire them if we need to, but, or not if we need to, but if we just have. If we have wands on hand. I would love to get large windows. I know the crone bug is working on it. How long do, how much glass does, needs nine frost glass to make a large window. But we can slap that right in the workshop there and that'll, that'll be uh, our carpentry now. Andrew, have you been hired yet? Or not hired, but uh, powered up. I think that'll be the last thing we do this episode is get Andrew hired because I want to see what the upgraded or not upgraded, but the, the grown, the grown fracture, fracture? What are you? Shattered. <laughs> what the grown shattered looks like. We're going to go ahead and retire Kingsley. Kingsley, you've done a great job. I'm proud of you. Theo, Kira, Yale, Uma. Who's got low conviction? I guess, yeah, we'll throw Dwellix in there, even though he's not going to stick around. 
We'll get her rotated out so we can immediately hire Andrew afterwards. I think we'll still need savant scrolls to make that happen because we have seven people. So once we retire Kingsley here, we might need to get... Circe should be able to re uh, graduate today as well. Let's see what our schedule looks like. Where are we in the schedule? I feel like we should be in like here. Although maybe we're in the tasks thing. Actually, yeah, we're, we're well beyond the class. All right, Andrew, are you ready to be hired? I don't know if you are. Ah, yes, but we still have too many people for Savant Scrolls. Okay, we're gonna pause the episode there. We'll hire Andrew next time and then get some of our large windows going once the once Cragbreaker has had his chance to to do things. So we'll pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Mind Over Magic or the other videos going on, on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, everybody.